Well, hello, Stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper and happy Wednesday to you. I'm just doing an extra video today because I'm super excited about two things. Number one, there are a lot of new online exclusives, including a few new kits and some gorgeous, gorgeous Christmas sets. Now, if you have the annual catalog, then I have heard a few people say that they were disappointed at how few Christmas sets were in there. Well, here is your chance to catch up on all things Christmas. Christmas in July is a real thing for stampers. Um, it's just so much fun to get started on your Christmas cards and just to thoroughly enjoy them and not have to stress about any kind of time crunch whatsoever. Um, it's wonderful to be able to give beautiful cards to people at Christmas time. And if you wait till December or November even, it's not going to happen. So take a look at the online exclusives. I'm going to show you the ones that I got. And while we do that, I'm also going to tell you that in July, it's bonus days. So for every $60 that you spend, you get a $6 bonus coupon that you can redeem in August. So that's great. Now, we got to see the Golden Greenery um, suite when I was in Houston at On Stage. And... It's stunning. If I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have been impressed by this stamp set. When you look at it, you think, oh, that's it? So there's a bell, two sizes of bells. There's some greenery. Now, mind you, this is one of those ones that says it's only the images at 75%. That means they're going to be a lot bigger than you think. Look at the dies. So you can make some gorgeous greenery with this. And I'll just show you that you can see the size of this better now than I can show you. It's a photopolymer set, which is really nice because you can see right through to make really nice stamping. Now, not only is there a beautiful stamp set with dies, but the paper, the paper. So what I'm going to show you first is the vellum. So we've got some gorgeous vellum. I've never seen vellum like this from Stampin' Up. And I don't know how good the light is. I just couldn't wait till tomorrow. Look how beautiful that is. There's touches of gold in there. And there's two of each design. I'm not sure if the dies cut out this vellum. I think they do. Look, they actually do. So you have these gorgeous vellum elements that you can add to your cards. And I love, look at that. I love that you can use them also as an inspiration for how you color your own stamped images. So that's beautiful. So there's two sheets of that. Then we have, this just looks like, um, a little bit like frost. Let's have a look. So you can see it a little bit when I put it on the beige. That, that's a, just a really nice overlay to, or as a base for your card. It just adds a beautiful texture. So we've got two of those. And then be sure to save that cardstock and I'll show you how you can make your very own book. And then look at this. And I believe, let's see, I might be wrong. I think I'm wrong. It does not go with this one. But just a sec, there's another one. No, this one doesn't seem, oh, 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 I lied. There. And then I think this one does go. Yeah, I was too quick. Look at that. The dies cut those those that greenery out as well. So I think I'll be using this paper with the dies rather than in strips, but who knows? Get enough so that you can use it to your heart's content. So that's just the vellum, guys. I'm just going to put this on top again and this other one in between. It's really, really beautiful. I don't know if my video does it justice. And then we have the paper. And the paper is, I think it's called green and gold. And look at that. I lift it up a bit to the light. You can see the gold shining in there in between. These are going to make luscious, luscious Christmas cards. And then the other side is just a dotted. So, you know, sometimes you just want something more muted. Or when you're done with Christmas, you want something not Christmas. So, again, the dies are going to cut this out, out of the paper. And it's just beautiful gold and green. And then we have a little gold dot. You can just picture pretty scrapbook pages. Also the envelope flaps. You can just make your creations a work of art. Here are the bells. And I know, 
Let's just turn this around like this. Let's have a look. There isn't a double bell die, but look, you can do this. And there's a little one too, like so. So I love it when the dies also cut out images from the paper. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this. I know I didn't have them out, but there are berry, little berry dies that, I mean, berry um, embellishments. Let's see if I can find them that go with this sweet. What's on? I forgot to show you the other side. A nice plaid on this one and a nice subtle greenery on this side. Okay. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. Okay, look at this, a little kind of a star design. And then on the other side, we have a nice green leaf again. Okay, and then we have this. It's all gold. The bling is just amazing. And that's kind of what we want for Christmas, isn't it? Everything's shimmery. And then this is a really nice side that looks like you've done. Remember in the 80s, we used to sponge our walls like this? Okay, so this is the, oh goodness, what's it called? The golden greenery suite. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. That's number one. So this one was one that I really had to have. I'm going to see if I can find those berries for you for a minute. Okay, so here are the berry clusters. So you've got them clusters in a clear and in red, and you've also got singles. So that, and there's a couple more rows in behind here. The paper was called Season of Green and Gold. Okay. And now I thought this was just a lot of fun. I love that snowman all melted and he's still smiling and the sled. And what's really cool is, do you see this sled here? Look at this. We also have a sled and skates and a wreath and a little bird. It's a cardinal. I love it. Okay, let's have a look. I don't think this one has dyes. No, this one doesn't have dyes. Um, it's shown at 95%, which means the stamps are a little bit bigger than what they look like. So they're a really nice size. You've also got the Christmas lights hanging there, which is a really nice effect. And um, I'm not sure if that's a topper for the sled or if it's a basket or whatever, but all the plants and the presents fit in there. Okay, then we have sophisticated sled and it does come with dyes. It's got some great snowflakes for the background. Take a look. Isn't that nice? And here we have them. So we have the outline for the sled. We've got the detail in here. And then we've got the wood to make this. So you can cut out your sled with this one. And you can also make your own sled with the other dies. Um, the skates have a special lace-up thing. So I will be featuring these through with my stamping through my stash so that you guys can, can see how they all work. This cuts out the wreath and this does a, a separate greenery that you can do. Um, sometimes people use a sled for decoration as well. I know I've done that in the past. Um, those sleds look great, but I'm not so sure how well they work anymore. So this is a fantastic set. I love this one because it rem brings me reminds me of my childhood. Then we have Frosted Forest, and Frosted Forest also comes with some um, masks. I'll show those to you in a minute. What's nice about this is that it's not necessarily Christmas, okay? No beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. So this is just for all the year, all year long. And look at all the beautiful tree dyes. I love this one because you can, look how nice that is. The whole thing. So I'm looking forward to playing with that. So lots of great dies, details and outline. You can cut the trees out, your stamp images, and you can do a pretty tree just with dies. Oh yeah, I'm going to find the masks for that. So here are the masks. Now I have to say these are a lot thicker and sturdier than the ones I've had before. So you can see how you can add, um, with, a, with a blending brush, you can add some color to your trees, all different layers to make them look more 3D. And you can see, so it's the same shape, same tree, but different things that you would layer over top of each other. This one is bigger. This one is a little more detailed. Or you can just make different ones. It doesn't matter. So you can see how you get a totally different look. And then that is for this tree here. See, so this would go over top like that to add shading of color. And here's another one. So you can, instead of stamping, you can just create a tree with masks. So there's the, the branch. 
And then there's the, the body of the tree. And what's really cool too is they've got those little notches at the top so you can line them up. So I'm excited to play with this. I'm glad I showed you because this is the first time I've had it for a while and haven't looked at it. So that's the frosted forest. Then we have greetings of the season. And the nice thing about the greetings of the season is that you've got, you can combine the fonts and you can combine the words to make the saying exactly what you want it to do. And then the same person or the same font has been used for everyday greetings. I love this one where there is heartache, let there be healing. And yes, I have a story. I have a very dirty fingernail and that is bike grease. I actually helped a local fix her bike yesterday and I don't know anything about bike fixing. So it was a truly a gift. And you know, that just goes to show that sometimes when someone needs help, you just need to say yes and God will do the rest. So that was, was really, really an amazing moment. Um, then I have this one. This is not Christmas, but this is a great new one that's online. I love that train. And this one is hiding at the back of the annual catalog. And it's just a great big thank you that I would emboss over top of pretty pattern paper. Um, just, it's just nice and easy. Oh, then there's one more thing. I actually sold the Dutch stamp set that I had to go with this. So I only have the dies and I have to order the stamp set, but I'm going to show you, I'm going to share my screen. All right. And look, here it is. This is the, the English version of it. And then the dies cut out the, the tree and this, that, that star looks like a star die, but it really, I think it cuts out the snowflake. Then it cuts out a leaf, hearts and stars and twigs and candles. So you can just do an awful lot with this. Let's go down to size. Let me add a plus here. Okay. Don't want to do that. Do they have any samples? Here we go. That's just simple. But you see how they've used that vellum in behind here? And then there we have a, um, a fall one. You can see the pretty dyes and the greenery and the stamp images. It's just really nice. This is... And here it is in a winter scene. The dyes are really beautiful. And let's see. And now here you can even use it for birthday or for Valentine's. So that's kind of cool. Let me go back to here. Okay. So I hope you found this helpful. I want to show you one more thing, actually. Here we go. And that is this paper. I haven't even opened it yet. So these dies are called Iconic Imagery dies, and the paper is called Iconic Celebrations. So let's take a look at this. It's six by six, and the dies cut out some of the images in the paper as well. So let's just flip through it. So there you have, I think there's four of each. Look at the glasses, the champagne glasses for New Year's or for Valentine's. So this is a nice little, see, fall. You've got your acorns and your rustic dots. It's nice to have a package that has a little bit of everything. Birthday, New Year's. There's those beautiful little snowflake stars. Pumpkins. Plaids. Doves. Stripes, trees. And stars. So yeah, it's got a little bit of everything. I hope that you have found this helpful. I'm excited to see what you choose. Um, one last thing I want to finish with you. It's July and that means um, the mailing selector. So for the new mini catalogs, I need to fill that in by the end of July. So if you would like to remain on my mailing list, if you have had a catalog in the past, please let me know. Um, if you haven't ordered in the last six months, you will not get a catalog in the mail unless you let me know that you want one. Okay. So, because it costs a lot to send them and I don't want to send them out into outer space without hearing anything from anyone. So thank you to those who are in contact. I realize that life gets busy and so I'm excited to hear from you. All right. Have a super day and thanks for watching.